Mets played the same hand in 2000, ended up in the World Series. Game one of the NLCS, delayed by rain Wednesday. Go time for Thursday, St. Louis in the NLCS for the third time in the last five years. First NLCS game for Willie Randolph. Tony the Roos has been through 54 of these babies. Tom Glavin, 5-9, and nine, his career in the NLCS here in the first. Gets Albert Pujols with the off-speed pitch. Looked good early. Bottom two, we are still scoreless. Cliff Floyd got the bad Achilles, but on the roster, in the game, Preston Wilson going over, giving chase, can't get it. Floyd, he made an effort down to first, but clearly hampered by the Achilles. He'd leave the game scheduled for an MRI on Friday. Top three, still scoreless, two on one out. David Eckstein, lines from the left side. David Wright's got that. Jose Valentin, there's your inning, ending double play. And who likes it in the dugout? How about Pedro Martinez, Orlando Hernandez? There are injuries. Going to keep him watching the entire postseason. Top four, Juan Encarnacion flies to center field. Carlos Beltran's got that. What's Albert Pujols thinking? I mean, that looked like a can of corn routine stuff. Pujols a little aggressive. He's thrown out another double play to end the fourth. In the fifth. Still a 0-0 game. One on. One out. Ronnie Belliard loops one to left. Andy Chavez has come in for Cliff Floyd. Floyd's not making this play. Oh. Chavez is. Backhand. Excellent work there. There he is. Top play nominee. That's an out. Backhand always tricky. You, you know, run the risk of a wrist injury there. Something happens. Not going. He's fine. Bottom six. Still scoreless. One on. Two out. After Paul LaDuca single. Carlos Beltran, who wore out the Cardinals two years ago in the postseason as an Astro, comes up big. A bomb. Beltran, 2 0 Mets, ninth career postseason home run. Name your Molina, that's Yadier setting up. Yeah, missed your spot. Jeff Weaver, that's gone. He was gone after five and two thirds, four hits, two earned runs. Top eight, same numbers. Run on first shot, Preston Wilson, plate pools on deck. Guillermo Mota into relief. And excellent relief work there. Wilson pops out to Delgado in foul territory. Now we go to the ninth. Billy Wagner on to save this baby against pool holes. Big Al hitting it hard. Delgado will snare that one. Pujols 0 for 3 on the night. All right, 27th out. Would it be Scott Smizio in? Pinch hitting. Not good there. Easy enough for Jose Valentin. Out number 27 recorded. The Mets record a 2-0. Four hit shutout to take a one-love series lead. They are still unbeaten in the postseason. 4-0. Beltran, the first Met outfielder with a home run and an assist in the same postseason game. Glavin, excellent. Seven shutout innings on top of the six he threw at the Dodgers. First time in his career he's had consecutive scoreless outings in the postseason, which is why the manager wants to talk about Mr. Goose Eggs. Tommy was superb tonight. Uh, he's got a lot of, a lot of experience in the postseason, and uh, you know he's a guy that wants the ball in the big spot. And uh, he got to start on the right foot tonight. He's a superb pitcher. We all know that, but uh, you always feel real confident when you give him the ball. Tommy threw the ball great again. I mean, he was just the way he was against LA. He had, uh, you know, great stuff, and he established in early. And he had a good changeup. He had a good breaking ball tonight too. And what can you say? That's why he's a Hall of Famer. But the prospects of them uh, pushing Carpenter up the game too. Uh, you know, it certainly was important for us to get off on a good start and, and, and get the, take the uh, early advantage of the series. So it was a big win. I mean, it pains me that uh, there's going to be an L next to Jeff's name tomorrow. That's no way that that's that he's a losing pitcher. Well, it appears three years out of the postseason hasn't thrown Glavin too far off his playoff game. Might have even sharpened it. You now you're away from it. You want a bit more over his last four NLCS starts. Glavin has gone three and one. The ERA .69 in his 12 NLC NLCS starts prior to that. A total of just three wins, eight losses. The ERA nearly four. Fred Hickman leading our baseball tonight analysis. Game two at Shea. 50 degrees, a bit breezy, but all in all, a nice fall day in New York. There's Chris, perfect in the postseason. Bottom one in trouble, no score. Reyes, Beltran on Delgado. He goes left center, and he goes out of here. Three-nothing Mets right off the bat of Carlos Delgado. Top of two, same score, John Main. Here come the Cardinals, bases loaded, one out. Yadier Molina. Takes the high fastball, serves it to right. Edmund Spezio score. Just like that, the Cardinals right back in the game at 3-2. Top of three, Cardinals down now. 4-2, Carpenter gave up another run. However, Jim Edmonds, he goes the opposite way. Almost the same path that Delgado went. Not quite as far, but it's still a home run. Edmonds ties the game at four. Bottom five, Delgado. Opposite field power. There it goes. 
97 mile an hour fastball, but Delgado gets enough wood on that. He's the fourth Met player to have a multi home run game in the postseason. Alfonso, Carter, and Rusty Staub, the others. Top of seven, Cardinals in trouble. They're down 6 4, two out, full count to Albert Pujols. That's a good piece of hitting. That's a single, and on first, but again, there's two outs. Next batter. Yamamoto walks Jim Edmonds. Now two on, two outs. Here comes Scott Spezio. It's an 0-2 pitch, and it is in a good place to hit. In fact, it could be gone. Oh, is it gone? Ball comes back into play. Here comes Pujols. Here comes Edmonds. Now the Cardinals want a home run. They think it hit that back wall, but watch. Sean Green actually saves a home run off his glove, top of the fence, back in play. Umpires convene. However, it's accurately called, and the game stays tied at six. It's not a three-run homer. Great chance for Carlos Beltran. He gets a pretty good pitch to hit here. Up in the zone from Josh Kenny, but he can't elevate. Instead, 4-6-3, double play. Josh Kenny with the big, biggest moment of his professional baseball life, and he comes through. Top of nine, so Taguchi. Oh, boy, he is so in trouble here. Billy Wagner throwing high cheese. He can't catch up with it. However, he knows he's not going to throw a breaking ball with pool holes on deck. One more fastball. Start the swing earlier, and so Taguchi. That is so gone. 7-6. He breaks the tie, and the Cardinals add two more and go on to win 9-6. to six. They even the series at one with three runs in the ninth. The Cardinals' bullpen supposedly their weakness, but the bullpen allowed its first run of the postseason, ending a streak of 15 and two-thirds scoreless innings. Scott Spezio ties the game with a two-run triple in the seventh. He adds an RBI in the ninth for insurance. He's now 14 for 20 for his career in the postseason with runners in scoring position. I don't know. I just try to keep it keep it simple and uh, not put any added pressure on myself and just try to keep my game plan simple, look for a pitch I can hit, and put my swing on it. You know, one of So's qualities is he really plays well late in the game. I mean, ever since he first got here in September, whatever, I don't remember the year now, 2001, two, whatever it was. In September, he got a couple big hit. He plays well late. And in that at bat, you know, he fouled a couple pitches off where he was getting a hit out. So, I mean, he's not intimidated at all by, by pressure situations. So, comma, so Taguchi becomes just the third player in postseason history to hit home runs in his first two ABs in a single postseason. He joins Gary Gaetti of the 87 Twins and Joe Collins of the 1955 New York Yankees who lost that World Series to the Brooklyn Dodgers. The baseball tonight crew, Scott Reese, what do you have?